All right, so now that I have my active dry yeast prepared over here, um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the rest of the experiment. And so I'm gonna take some regular hydrogen peroxide. If you look on the back, um, this gives you the specific volume, which is 3%. Now, the reason why we're doing 3% is because this is the only kind of elephant toothpaste that you can use that is safe to touch, all right? There's other ones that you can use with stronger concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. Do these yield a much bigger reaction that are super cool? Yes, but they are also um, a little bit more dangerous because it not only releases a lot of heat but that can cause physical damage but that chemical change that's occurring in that process too can also cause chemical burns and so we are going to be doing the kid friendly version of this today and so I'm going to pour about half a cup of hydrogen peroxide right here I've got my handy dandy funnel just to make life somewhat easier because even though we're making a mess today we can kind of uh con we can contain the chaos as much as we can so now that I've got the hydrogen peroxide in there, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and just add a generous amount of dish soap. Um, you know, people will tell you that it's just a squirt. Um, how generous you wanna be with that is up to you. I kinda like to add a good amount just because I find that it gives you an even cooler reaction. Now, you can add any color food coloring that you would like to this. Um, we tried this out with purple earlier and it turned out pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out again. And so you wanna add probably at least five drops or so of food coloring. You don't really need to too much, um, but you want just enough to where you're gonna see the color change actually occur. And then here comes the easy part. You're just gonna kind of do a little swish down here and kind of just help everything swirl and mix together. But again, you don't need to go too crazy, all right? Now, once you have that in there like so, you are ready to go ahead and pour your active yeast um, liquid into here. And so this part is a little bit tricky just because, you know, we're not gonna use the funnel this time. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour it straight in and it'll automatically start to react with everything going on in the bottom. If, if it doesn't foam up right away, then all you have to do is usually give it just a little bit of a swirl to help everything mix together. And then once it does, it'll start to react. And so here we go. As soon as it hits everything together, slowly but surely there we go it is going to start to slowly rise out and now this reaction is really cool because it is considered an exothermic reaction and so what this means is not only is a chemical change taking place but in addition to this it is releasing heat as it does so and so if you were physically here with us right now you would be able to touch this foam and realize that it's actually quite warm um not only and that has to do with the fact that as this chemical change and reaction is taking place it is releasing heat as it does so um and so this is a really fun hands-on sensory science experiment that you can do at home with a lot of the simple materials materials that you might already have at home. Thank you so much for joining us today and letting us show off some of our cool chemistry things and we'll see you next time.